All right, I am back. So, to get started with what we're gonna do next with getting the kitchen established, I'm um, actually doing some planning. To do that, I want my chisel. We're going to use, I have a whole lot of this. Make some more. Um, this is gonna be like pantry, drawers, whatnot. Um, gonna have this be actual blocks. There's a lot of mods since you last played, if you're still in 1710, Katie. This is our kitchen. This is going to be where we're going to store the foods and set up a kitchen area. <clears throat> Let's see. Yep. Fireplace right here. So if we did, like, okay, if the fireplace is there. Now we want to do like some countertops. Imagine you're pretending at the moment. Pretend! And we can do some cooking for blockheads, shelving units, or spice racks right there. Um, let's see. This would be a good wall for a set of, of drawers, I believe. And this is storage drawers that we'd be using. We'll do four tall. Um, we'll do some there as well, I think. Yeah, we'll do them here as well. Yeah. Can't remember how many I'm gonna need. We're gonna do the two by two drawers. What about a double-sided uh, fireplace? in the middle. Well, see, the middle is um, this space here, which I'm probably going to remove this and have this look up into the second floor and then have a... So this the middle place here is for refined storage, but uh, I know you guys can't tell what my plans are, but there's going to be a fireplace right here. There's four fireplaces in this building, in the, in the house. There's one on each side here and here, and then there's one on this side of the building here and there's one over there as well in each room so pretty pretty decked out for that um, so where would my refined I think it might be good to put the oh think about it yeah. the orphaned refined storage the cooking for blockheads only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, see, there's a. We're gonna have to put the storage drawer controller in the middle somewhere. So we'll have to do. Maybe we'll do an island in the middle. close do they need to be, Alchemist, all of the cooking for blockhead stuff for them to count as the kitchen? Yeah. That's what I want to know, because the... Because if they had to be touching... Okay. So, the things I need. I need the table, the oven, the fridge, the sink, the toaster, and the milk jar, which we might not be able to get if the improved, improving Minecraft cow doesn't work. Then we won't be able to do the cow in a jar. 
um, spice racks, tool racks. We don't have to use kitchen counter, but this is another storage block. Um, so if I did... Yeah, I thought it would only count regular cows. Um... Yep, best crafting recipe ever for that. I agree. Okay, so this is cooking for blockheads blocks of some sort. Put the refined storage system behind where we'll have a little terminal, crafting terminal, so we can access it. Um, this will be decorative crafting cooking with blockheads blocks. We'll build up the wall here so that we can, you know, enclose this, and this will be the new wall so we don't have the angled wall. That's what we'll do. Um, the roar controller. That is something. <laughs> what is this again? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. It's 12 in each direction, right? That should be fine. I bet we could put it right here in the corner. If we change this out, this is if this is the storage drawer controller. Or these are going to be storage doors and these are going to be storage doors for sure. Now we'll, we can have more storage doors and we probably will. Oh, hang on just a second. Sorry about that. Loki was getting into stuff. Um, okay, if we, we're gonna have storage drawers in quite a few places, um, they will all reach if I put the drawer controller here, so that's good news. Can you interact with the cooking for blockheads blocks with refined storage, um, specifically for recipe crafting? I guess you wouldn't really need to. So, I just have to think about this for a second. Probably not. It's probably not compatible with refined storage type of things. Um, I'd have to use crafters and that's fine. So in that end, once I got to that point, um, I would just use refined storage crafters and the cooking for block heads would be mostly decorative. So, let's do it. We need, we're gonna need some black hardened clay. We're gonna need to make the book. I know that's what's in the quest yet. We need some ink. Quite clearly going to need some ink. Um, iron, more iron, a bucket of lava. We can make the milk jar, but we just can't make the cow in a jar. Rack. Encounter. Yes, we need ink sacks. We have a Maine Coon named Loki. I've always wanted a Maine Coon. I don't think uh, my husband would like having a cat so large. <laughs> and hairy. He really doesn't like the hair everywhere. So let's get this stuff put away. Um, put that in there and that in there. Uh, voltmeter in here. We need to go squid killing. Uh, 
clay. We have enough clay to be able to make the hardened clay necessary. Oh, I have three cats. I have plenty. And Loki is in everything again. Just a second. You think I fed him not what five minutes ago guys and he's already getting into the into the sink where all the dishes are <sighs> yeah okay water closest water is that closest well really <sighs> this looks deeper we might have better luck at getting squid that looks pretty shallow well let's go this way and it's almost night time. Let's, let's sleep. Because I don't want to do my squid hunting with other things attacking me. I can only sleep at night. So he's back up on the counter again, guys. But I think I covered everything up. If he becomes too much of an annoyance, he gets to go in the cage for the rest of my stream. Well, I'm up too high. Um, if you see, my Y is 101. So I'm too high for them to spawn, even if in puddles or pools or ponds or rivers. Um, so, yeah. I just figure the ocean is at the right level. So let's head that way. This is where making an airship might be faster. Again, I've never used the airships, so who knows? It might be fun to make one. Definitely would be nice <laughs> since I can't uh, fly or anything right now. And there's no, I don't think there's any glider in the pack, which wouldn't be very useful anyway, because I wouldn't, would not trust myself to jump from a height. Now, do you say wild or do you just say? Wild, so I'd have to try. I'd have to breed them too, probably before I got eggs from them, actually, because that's one thing I haven't seen. Are eggs? There is a glider from Open Glider. Aha! See, Alchemist, you've played this pack more than I have. Alright, so I currently see no squid. Let's get a little closer. There we go. Oh, that's true! You probably did the stuff that I avoided last time. <laughs> There's one. Two. Three. Um, apparently not seeing any more. I haven't seen a slime island. That's why. Because that's one of the quests. I need to get blue slime to make the slime boots. Um, I haven't seen a slime island. Yeah. I haven't looked very hard either. Oh, there's more squid. A lot of squid. Uh, 
Um, this will be it. We'll get this guy and then we'll head back. Alright, we got 12 of that and 8 raw calamari. So I definitely want, I want step assist, so we need to work on things like that. That I'm looking forward to with Batania is the sash. The book card sash. A bunny? Yep, that's a bunny. And I believe my villagers are still alive here. Yeah, there's at least one in there. There's two. Okay, we're fine. Yeah. There's one in there. <laughs> Endlessly opening and closing their door because they can't break the blocks in front of it. Yeah, not all the vanilla recipes are in it, like paper. The recipe for paper is in the pressing machine. You squish oak. Or you squish wood. Yeah, he's, he's done some tweaking. Okay. Clay. We have 12 this work. There's eight. We also need glass. Okay, sand. Oh, we need sand. Hmm, <laughs> okay. We'll take what we need of that. We're gonna need some more iron. We'll grab some of that. We're gonna need for you. I don't need nearly that much. Okay, recipes. Recipes go. We need the book first. Which book? According to the quest, we need the Cooking for Blockheads 1. Learning to cook can be fun, but it's even more fun when you have a recipe book to hand. This book will show you all the recipes that you can make with the ingredients in your inventory. Now, the way you can make this if you've never done Cooking for Blockheads before is you take a book and you cook it. Well, I have diamonds. I just don't have a lot of diamonds, Alchemist. There we are. Cooking for Blockheads number one complete. We'll pick Detect. And there we go. And it opens up. Well, no. If you know how to use JEI or NEI in 1.710, you can figure out the recipes. It's just that make sure you look them up and not assume that you know what the recipe is. So, now that the recipe book has been used a bit, which we know how to use it, um, you feel that cooking things shouldn't require as much referencing of pages and ingredients, which is funny because anybody has a cookbook. Um, this book will also allow you to craft books and you have craft using ingredients in your inventory. So the cooking for blockheads two. Number two requires two diamonds, two crafting tables, and the book you just cooked. So we got diamonds. Let's put this stuff in there. Um two crafting tables, hopefully this, put 
that in the middle, and this was mostly shapeless. You could put it this way, or you could put the diamonds on the sides and the crafting table on the top. There is our crafting for blockheads. Number two, detect flame. And it opens up even more recipe foodstuffs things. Um, we got that, and I think I already have some chicken. No, it's cooked. Alright. Quest book again. Good, it has us do some of this kitchen stuff. And then the kitchen utensils, we get to do all of those. And then it breaks into making food. Recipes are guides when you're cooking. Recipes are recipes when you're baking. Because you need to follow them very specifically. Because baking is actually science. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> but, uh, okay. So, we need a cooking table. And it says, um, by placing the book in a stand on a work workable surface, you should be able to have even more access to quicker cooking. All items from this onward can be placed next to each other to form a multi-block kitchen and provide the counter with all ingredients that they hold. So, cooking table is first. And there it is, the cooking table. Let's complete our quest. And then... An oven attached to your multi-block kitchen will allow you to cook up hot meals with ease, and it holds your like pots and pans and whatnot that you would normally use for cooking things too. So, and requires fuel. I do not know if this has been set in the config that it requires cooking oil as the fuel. Uh, it might use solid fuels, but let's do this oven. Echo craft. Blech. I don't like deco craft, and I'm not afraid to say it. What goes on the top? Oh, the black glass that we haven't made yet. Got seven. There we go. Can you do this? See, that was something I couldn't even remember if we could do. <laughs> Alright, oven. Oh, you miss your your granny's Irish flatbread. I wish my grand I have had my grandmother's bean soup. Oh, I have tried so many times to make a bean soup. It just never tasted like hers. Bean soup. Ah oh, no. <laughs> Get some grilled cheese for that. And then, cooling off, a fridge to store your fresh goods is an excellent idea and should extend your culinary capabilities even further. I'm going to make at least two fridge. Um, how many iron doors do I have? None. So let's make the iron doors. Well, let's do just do two for now. Do I have two chests? Two. Yay. Okay, so there's our fridge. And we're gonna put the grilled cheese in here. Protect. Flame. Now, a sink is the staple of any good kitchen. It will need a water supply from pipes or something similar to function. That is something that all not all mod, mod packs adjust. This is a config option. Some mod packs, the sink is an infinite water source. But this one, it is not. So... Oh, there it goes. I don't remember what his name is in, on his channels and stuff. His name is in that silver box? Might be. Sink. Echo craft. Multi block. I don't have a bucket of water on me. He wasn't gone very long. He must have just been putzing around with something between. Oh, well, the book says it wasn't infinite. Did he maybe change it? Let's see. 
Ew, I got water. You're right. <laughs> you just didn't change the info text. All right, let me hold just a second. I am going to put that in to a, the issue tracker. Issue tracker. Not that he's planning on making any more updates, but there are some quest breaks and stuff that um, I've been reporting that he might actually fix. Um, so we'll do sync quest. Um, info text inaccurate. If I can spell. We're playing 1.6, and this is a multiplayer um, recurring because <laughs> it's there. Uh, your text for the cooking with blockhead sink says that it needs a water source, but in fact, it does not. It is infinite. Tested. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so you use that for garden cloches? Did it keep up with the water supply alchemist? I used reservoir from um Andreo and it did just fine. Alright, so we have a sink. Sweet. And then kitchen extension. Kitchen counters provide further space to store and expand your ingredient supplies. Remember that everything needs to next to each other to count as a multi-block kitchen. Counters make an excellent way to spread out your appliances a bit. Yeah, so they're not all on top of each other. Um, a kitchen counter. Ah, uh, six running off of one. That's impressive. So there we go, we have a counter. And that takes care of everything on this line, and then we'll need to do this one. But we're gonna sleep. Well, we probably don't need to sleep. Well. Uh, they nerfed him, Katie. They nerfed him in 112 uh, or 111 or 1. Maybe they nerfed him in 110. Why can't I not get through this door? There we go. They are um, a lot slower now. They aren't. They don't go nearly as fast. Okay, so let's put. Oven. And we need to get the countertop there. And we'll do. Oh, we have to put it all together. What am I thinking? Why do you no break? Um. which we'll put by a toaster on. Yeah, they aren't as fast now. I don't even know. I think they're still fast in this version of um, The Simple Life, but they have been changed. Yeah, they're still OP even if they've been slowed down. They're still amazing. Okay, so in order for this to be all connected, if I wanted to go around this way, I should probably make countertops and like have them wrap, go here and here and go around um, the storage drawer controller block and then I can have more there, like that's where I would want. Great. Perhaps. Um, 
Hmm. I think what I might like to have is the fridge and the oven swap places. I do more than one oven just because this is a big house. They're making a lot of food. <laughs> I wonder if I can have more than one cooking table. So then I can access it here or there. I don't know. I don't like that you can see behind them. I mean, they're nice that they're not the full size of the block. But I'm going to be putting stuff back here. And you'll see it. <laughs> well, I could always pull this out a little further, but then... Um... No, that's fine. This is survivable. As it is. Okay. So we have cooking for blockheads. As you can see, we can now make bubbly water, fresh water, and salt simply because this is an infinite water source and it gives us water for these specific recipes. Uh, we need to make a bunch of other things. So let's go back in here real quick. Now we're going this direction. We need to make a tool rack. Before you start to craft any utensils, it may be worth figuring out a space to store them in. Um, tool rack. Looking for blockheads. We don't have the nuggets. All right. Claim. And then I've got few things. I've got you. So I don't need to do that one again. And then I have you. So pick that one. And the juicer and the other one too. Okay, so it's giving us far too many things. Alright. This is the mortar and pestle. Five spice powder, huh? So we have those. We have a bunch of loot. Let's open the loot. A bunch of stuff we don't need. this one. A bunch of leads that I wish there was a use for them beyond... Yeah. So many leads. Alright, uncommon. Gentium, that's nice. That's okay. And then we have a rare. Ooh! Ooh! Everyone's happy about those. You know why? I need to make an axe, but I can put it in here, and now the rage is higher. Let's fix this axe. There we go. So now that is running again, and I need to find a use for these saplings. Don't have a use currently, and I think I have a ton of apples. Okay. So, we have some of the utensils done. We need to make a saucepan, a skillet, a pot, and bakeware. Saucepan. That's just the way it is in modded Minecraft. 
pot. Um, skillet. And the bakeware. Bakeware. All right, we got those. Let's claim those. Sauce pan. Bakeware. Hello, Darking. Darkwing? Is it like Darkwing Duck type Darkwing? And I'm saying it wrong? <laughs> okay. Got a bunch of food stuff for our efforts there. Um, I think. Yeah, it's like dark meat bag. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> so then these are all foods that we can work on later. Um, we need to do probably more than one uh, tool rack, but I want to show you if you use the oven it's got slots for some of the things here where's the skillet and I don't have any fuel on me that I can put in there but then they show up on the oven isn't that awesome um, I wonder if this will work totally just dated myself oh yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Thinking here. You can come down. You can come down. You can come down. You can come down. Those there. You used to be able to place the cutting table, the cutting board. I don't think you can anymore. So we are going to need more wall space. Grab some of this and I'm just going to extend it this way. Um, the use of the kitchen there um, you can still put machines underneath here I'm trying to think if there's anything else I mean we need another counter several other countertops I want to make a toaster so we'll need countertops, one here to connect the kitchen, um, and then we'll, I can put one here with a toaster on it. So, two more kitchen counters. Counter. Alright, we need to make... One and two. All right, and then we need the toaster. So we need the bucket of lava. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a cow in a jar unless it's given as a. a um, why am I out here? Unless it's given as a reward. Button. Wow, you get eight buttons? That's a lot of buttons. A trap door. Oh. 
when I breed up the wild ones in regular. Gotcha. Oh, uh, yeah, well, mine then, yeah. Might as well. To be fair, I might as well use up the last of the black hardened clay that I've got here, because I have no other use for it. Um, it does because of the the mod that's in it, Alchemist, or not Alchemist, Katie. The mod that it changes the animals. They're currently wild animals. I need to tame them so that they're regular animals. Oh, yeah. Alright, now to put some food in here. Um, because right now, if I were to go and kill an animal... Hi, Mr. Brightside! we go over here, um, they kind of need to be close to each other for this to work. But if I were to... Oh, I don't want to kill the pigs either. I haven't gotten any contained. But since they're wild, if they're in a little pack um, and you attack one, they'll all attack you. I'm good, Mr. Brightside. How are you? we have our kitchen set up we need to move the food let's do that and again we don't have the refined system refined storage set up over there and I don't think you can interface with it so even if I put the food in the cooking for blockheads kitchen I won't be able to make recipes with the crafting grid with it that'll just have to come with time um, going. Filling up. We'll start with the fridge. Put everything possible in there until it's full. Oh, I need my actual one I'm eating currently. And all right, it's full. Let's put stuff in here. Full, but of course we have more counters over here. Um, so we can pick you back up. We need to get some fuel for the oven. So let's grab some coal. Um, we'll put you away. And then, for those of you who are not familiar with cooking for blockheads, this is one of the most awesome things to have when you've got PAMs. Check it out! You click on the cooking table, and now it tells me all sorts of things that I can make. So, this is what I can make right now. If I start, like, crafting some of, like, flours or cornmeals or, like, the intermediate, intermediate recipes, it'll give me even more recipes. 
So all I have to do then is to select an item to see its recipe, like spring salad. And all I have to do now here is just click again to craft. So all I have to do is click it one more time and it'll make it for me. Okay. <laughs> all right, so let's put fuel in there. It looks like that is what will work. This is input, this is out, I think, and this is, this is what has been currently cooking. I think that's the way this is set up. And if there were things in here, you would be able to see inside there. So that is our current cooking for Blockhead's kitchen. I believe we've covered everything that cooking for Blockhead offers. We need to make a spice rack um, eventually. I Like I said, I don't have anything special to put in it just yet. And we will need to make a milk jar because we can make the milk jar and then when I do have a tamed cow we can do the cow in a jar. What do I need for the milk jar? I need milk. Oh, I can't get milk until I have a tamed cow so that'll have to wait. All right. The ink sacks away. Let's go into here and crammed a whole bunch of stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here. Uh, I was using that for marking tools, so that's fine. Alabaster needs to go um, uh, with the other building blocks. That's it. Use your words, Winry. Let's sleep. We don't need mobs. Okay. So you have all this open space in the middle. I guess that's okay. Most kitchens don't have it though. Most kitchens have lots of tables and things for working on. We may add those things as decorative elements in the future. I might not, I probably won't do it now. I'm trying to think of what we should be working on next. What does our quest have? We did pretty good with this quest line. I'm not gonna do any of the foods at this time. 